tree. So now what 
what are the other rules? So one rule is relief nodes are not articulation point. Then for the root node, if the root node has two or more children connected to a tree edge, then the root node is an articulation point. Okay? So again, what's the condition for the root node to be an articulation point? If it has at least two children connected to a tree edge, then the root node is an articulation point. So based on that, tell me whether the root node gets an articulation point or not. Yes, why? It has more than one children, both are connected using a tree edge. So it should be a tree edge connecting the root node with its children. At least two children should be connected like that, then that's an articulation point. So you can remove it and see, if I remove this, you can see this becomes one component and this becomes one component. So that makes sense. Okay, so um, that's the condition for the root node to be an articulation point. So now all is left are intermediate nodes. So what is the condition for an intermediate node to be an articulation point? For an intermediate node to be an articulation point, it should have at least one subtree rooted at its child node such that no edge goes from that subtree above that node. Okay? So let's look at that more closely. D is an intermediate node. Right? So now we have to decide whether D is an articulation point or not. How many children it has? Only one. So uh, this itself is a subtree by itself. This is a subtree. Okay? Now from that subtree, do you have any back edge going above B? From yes. the figure? Mm -hmm. Yes. So what did I say? You should have at least one child, a uh, subtree rooted at the child, such that no back edge goes above that vertex. So for D, that's not the case. If there's no, if this back edge was not there, if this back edge was not there, okay, does the definition hold good now? There is one subtree rooted at D, and no edge goes above D, past D. So if that back edge was not there, then D would have been an articulation point. Why? Because if I remove D with this edge not there, then F would be disconnected from the rest of the graph. Right? If I remove this vertex D and let's say this edge was not there, the back edge, then F would be disconnected from everyone else. So that would have made D an articulation point. But because of this back edge, which is there, even if I remove D from the graph, F would stay connected to the other nodes using this back edge. So that's why D is not an articulation point here. Yeah. Just, just to be clear, he's uh -huh. not an articulation point because even if you remove it, the child under it would still have a connection? The child would still be connected to the rest of the vertices. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's what it is. So if you remove D, the child will be connected to the rest of the child or everyone connected to the two plus three sub three will be connected to the rest of the vertices using this package. Okay, thank you. Okay. Good. So now what about B? How many Subtrees, children, so subtrees it, it B has? B has two. two. Uh, the, the children are um, referred to based on a tree edge. So there's only one tree edge, right? Yeah. So D is the only child and this is a subtree rooted at D. So you don't count the articulation point from D to F? No. Like, look at this. You have tree edges and back edges. You know what a tree okay. edge and back edge is? Yeah. yeah. Right? So, a uh, tree edge is, uh, tree edges are what forming the tree. The back edge are just like uh, additional edges. Okay? So, now look at this B. It has one child and the subtree rooted at that child, which is B. And is there any back edge from that subtree going past B? Is there, is there any back edge from this subtree yes. going past B, yeah. above B, yes. this edge, right? So if that edge again was not there, what would have been the case? That edge is not there, then there's no sub, uh, there's no back
back edge going from this subtree past B above B. There's one going from here to B, but that doesn't go above B. Okay? So if this back edge was not there, if I remove B, what happens? This whole subtree gets disconnected from the rest of the vertices. Isn't it? If I remove that green edge that I shaded as it's not there, let's say for the time being, then if I remove this B, what happens? These two vertices are disconnected from the rest. Because nothing connects them to, to anybody else. You see that? So if I remove B, then the, they get disconnected. So if this back edge was not there, then B would have been an articulation point. But in this case, since the back edge is there, B is not an articulation point. Is that clear? That's all it's fine. So let's go for G. Is G an articulation point or not? Why? Because it's just a child and a parent that doesn't have any articulation points connected to it. It has what? It's just a child and a parent. From a G, correct? Mm -hmm. G is a child of C and a parent of E. And if you remove G, it doesn't have anything articulated to it. So it's not. So how do you look at that? G has one child, which is E, rooted at, uh, so there's a subtree here. And from that subtree, you have a back edge that goes above G. That edge from E to A. So because of that, even if I remove G, E would be connected to the rest of them. So uh, that's why G is not an articulation point. Okay? What about C? No. Is C an articulation point? No. no. Why? For the same reason G isn't. Somebody else? The same reason G isn't. <laughs> <laughs> More explanation. Uh, he told he can say that, but you didn't tell before. So more you're talking about C, right? Uh huh. Your C is taking that E will still be connected to A. Okay, so look at that from a more formal uh, point of view. It's a subtree, right? So this is a subtree rooted at C. There's at least one subtree, only one subtree here. And uh, there's a back edge going from the subtree. So look at the subtree as one block. From this, there's a back edge going above C. So Right? So if I remove C, they will be still connected to the rest. Okay? So you view it from the child, the subtree room to the child, if there's any back edge going above that vertex. In this case, yes. Okay? So the only application point in this graph is what? Uh, a. a. The root node. Okay? The other vertices are not articulation points. So that's why we shaded that in yellow. Okay? So if I told that before, you would have said that in the right way. Okay, so let's do this. Just by looking at the given graph, so this is your given graph. Just visually looking at it, do you see any cycle in it? Hmm? Do you see any cycle in this graph? What is cycle? Start from one vertex, go around and come back to some same vertex, right? So you don't see anything like that here. Yes. So it will have a lot of articulation points. Everything except the leaf known is the articulation point. Okay, so let's do that. So again, do a depth first search. So I don't think we need to go again step by step, right? You know how to do depth first search now. So start with A. Visit which vertex you visit first? B. B. So push A onto the stack, one, and then B, second vertex, push the stack, and then what will you do next? B. Go from B to D. D, third vertex, from D you will go to F. Uh, F. Yeah. So fourth vertex, and then you don't have anything at F, right? Right. So you will pop, pop out F from the stack, so that's the first vertex will be popped out. Then after you pop out F, where will you go? Go back to D and you don't have anything. So you pop that out and then you go back to B and pop that out. Then A, you cannot pop out A because you have one more neighbor to visit. So you go to C and then from C you go to 5 and then you push G on the stack and then you push E. So you should be able to put those numbers. And then from E you cannot do anything else. Right? So you pop out E from the stack. So you popped out until uh, B3 vertices, so this is the fourth 
now we have to find the arbitration point. So you can see we did not encounter any back edge here, right? Everything's a pre edge. So that itself tells you the graph doesn't have sign to it. So when you do a depth first search and you encounter a back edge, then the graph has a sign. And you did not encounter a back edge here, so the graph does not have a sign. Okay? So that's to find out whether it has sign to or not. Now what about the articulation points? <coughs> Start with the eliminate the easier ones. Uh, so which ones you can say easily? These are the leaf nodes, right? E and F. The leaf nodes are? Huh? What are the leaf nodes in this graph, in this tree? If you cannot visualize from there, draw it like a tree. A is the root, it has two children, B and C. Then B has D as a child, and then F, and then G, and then E. This is the same thing drawn like a tree, rooted and then. So now tell me what are articulation points and what are not articulation points. The uh, articulation points are F and O. If E are not articulation points, why? Because they are leaf nodes. And there are no back edges here. So this is actually the graph given to you, right? So if I remove F, the rest are still connected. If I remove E, the rest are still connected. So they are not articulation points. So what about the remaining vertices? What would be A? A, is it an articulation point or yes. not? Yes. Yes. Why? No back edge. What for it, the root node. What's the condition for the root node? Oh. Well, if, if you remove A, then you won't be looking at the other Yeah, but you can look at it like that, but just go based on the definition. What? It has at least two children connected to a tree edge. Yeah. So if the root node is having at least two children connected to a tree edge, it's not an articulation point. Of course, you can verify that, like what you said. If you remove A, it gets disconnected. But just apply the definition to decide on that. So you can try to use like that, do like that. What about the interval vertices? What about B? Yeah. Why? Because from definition, what is the rule? No back edge. No back edge from any child uh, subtree above B, right? There's nothing going like something like this. Okay? So if that is the case, then B is an articulation point. Okay? <laughs> Similarly, what about B? Is it an articulation point? Yes. What's the subtree rooted at B? D. The one subtree means the whole thing. Okay, rooted at through D. So is there anything going from this subtree above B? Is there anything going above B? Above B means where? Something like above B to A or to C or anything like that? No. So which means? B is an articulation point. Why again, if I remove B, what happens? These guys get disconnected. This edge is not there, right? So D and E, F get disconnected from the rest. Similarly, you can say C and G are, not, are, are articulation points, right? Because if I remove them, the others get disconnected, right? So it's an easier case. So let's now do a couple of more examples. So here I added a couple of uh, to it. This is A from B to F from A to E. So if we do a depth first search, you get this. Okay, so we don't need to. Everyone is comfortable with depth first search on the graph, right? Given a graph, can you do depth first search and get the three edges and back edges? Yes or no? Okay, so given this now as your depth first search tree, how will you? find the articulation points. Draw the same tree, like I said, if you are not comfortable with visualizing, start from the root A, then B and C, and then you have the three edges and then the back edges. So now we have to find out whether, what are the articulation points. So let's start. Go ahead. What's the first thing you can do? Huh? You can start with the root or the leaf nodes. Okay, let's start.
that the root is A in articulation point.